So one of the questions that always comes up is, why do we want to run multiplexing? The really cool thing about multiplexing is all the communication goes down two wires, twist and carry. We've already learned that every ECU has to have power. So you can see on this board, I'm running power to just the bulkhead module or the uh, dash module. And I'm running a twisted pair all the way to the back. The module in the back, of course, has to run power to activate that module. So we'll swing around here and we'll have a look. So you can see now that at the back here, I've actually added a module back here, the uh, chassis module back here. And it's now I can actually be able to control a set of lights. So what I'm able to do is, just by sending a signal down the twisted pair, I'm able to activate the lights uh, quite a ways away. So you can see, I can come up here to the bulkhead module, or the dash module, and you can see I can activate the backup lights. I can activate my hazards. Okay. I hadn't, don't have to add any more wires. All the communication is just going down a single uh, harness or the data bus or the uh, CAN bus or the uh, twisted pair to the back. And now off of that ECU I can now control the set of lights. So the question I like to always ask is now could you see where I could actually have this as being my trailer cord and now by running the wires down to my trailer cord or my 7 pin connector I could add a whole bunch of functions on my trailer, you know, maybe uh, brake measuring, brake temperatures, uh, a, uh, ABC, ABS, ATC, uh, there's talks when we go to uh, uh, full electric trucks, you're going to add a drive axle on the trailer. So just by running down through a twisted pair and communicating with the tractor, you can see how I can actually add multiple functions to a trailer or to the back of a truck without adding bulky wiring harness to make it all work.